they really take over Gaslamp Quarter and Gaslamp becomes the focus of uh, Comic-Con and everyone who wants to be seen is up and down Fifth Avenue. But with coronavirus showing no signs of slowing down in San Diego, the convention that brings in more than 100,000 visitors and $150 million in revenue isn't happening this year. It's been a, a challenging summer for sure. Not only is the in-person Comic-Con event not happening this year at the convention center, but all the outside activations that many love and are free around the gas lamp are also canceled. Uh, media companies come down and rent out spaces in the gas lamp quarter, take over restaurants. Uh, take over parking lots, build activations. The loss of Comic-Con and other conventions combined with restrictions prohibiting indoor dining has business owners feeling the heat. Five years in a row we've set record numbers during Comic-Con. The last five years in a row we've had record months in July. Some business owners are estimating sales this week will be down as much as 90 percent compared to a normal Comic-Con week. Yeah, I would say that not having Comic-Con isn't going to make or break us. Uh, obviously, it's usually the best month of the year for us, the best week of the year for us. Uh, right now, I mean, it would be nice to have it, uh, but there's so many other things going on with the restrictions. La Puerta off 4th Avenue in the gas lamp has been a nearly 100% dine-in business for the last 12 years or so. The pandemic has forced them to pivot. The restaurants that are really good at takeout don't do a lot of dine-in. The restaurants that are really good at dine-in don't do a lot of takeout. Before it was, you know, 5% of our business throughout the year. Um, and now it's 30 percent and it's just completely different. Laporta did work with the city to set up this outdoor dining experience and just a block over on Fifth Avenue the street is getting ready to close. Part of a push to allow restaurants to expand their seating into the streets. With outdoor dining only allowed right now the program has been a lifesaver for businesses. Oh yeah absolutely. I mean some restaurants actually get more space being outside than they have inside. So uh, every, almost every restaurant up and down Fifth Avenue is uh, participating. For now, Fifth Avenue will be closed weekly from Thursday through Sunday to allow for on-street dining. Great ambiance for people to come down to the gas lamp quarter. Not like Comic-Con, of course. We'll weather the storm and Comic-Con will be back and we'll be ready to have them when they're when this is all over. For those coming down for the sidewalk and street dining experience, remember face coverings are required except for when sitting at a table. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.